Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, Emma's working on schoolwork. She's in the middle of her master's program, so we're gonna give her some space and we're gonna go explore without her. We're out here in the Tacoma, Fife area. I'm not sure which one it is. In yesterday's video, you probably saw, we went ahead and explored at Beto's. Uh, Paul Everts, they did not want the advertising apparently, so did not want us to check out what they had. That's okay. But in today's video, we'll go ahead and we're gonna go across I-5 and I believe there's Tacoma RV, Paulsboro RV. They should have some interesting product for us to look at, hopefully. We'll just tour around. Ooh, I can see some RVs already. Fife RV Center. And they have some interesting rigs out here. Get the lighter weight travel trailers. Those are generally very similar to one another, you know, throughout the lineups, but I also saw a Riverstone out here that had a really nice paint job and the Sandpiper Destination trailer. Let's check that out. Slow it down, sir. <laughs> Sandpiper, Sandpiper, Chaparral. Nice lineup. It, Starcraft, which is a Jayco company. Smaller fifth wheel. Might have to see what that has to offer. Kind of interesting. But I want to see one of these uh, Riverstone Legacies. Okay, now I haven't gone in. This is a 391 FSK with the, uh, they have an air ride suspension. I imagine that's pretty decent. Probably costs a pretty penny. The paint on this looks awesome. Four times clear coat, no, sorry. Two times the clear coat, smoother paint, clear coat X4. That's a little confusing now. Is this a toy hauler? I don't know. They've got probably a washer dryer in the back. It looks like a vent there. Let's, let's see. 391 FSK. Oh no, it's locked. Ah, crap. No, are any of these unlocked? What about the Starcraft? Starcraft, oh yep, she's open, okay. GSL light duty, okay. I don't see a model on this. 1,321 pounds of cargo. Not too much cargo, but bedroom, second bedroom. Ooh, I like the table back here, that's nice. And the island keeps this pretty compact. This is a nice, you got a little leaf for more sitting, that's nice. Okay, lots of seating. I'll probably upgrade that TV. Hmm, okay. What do we have in here? So you, up here, looks like you have a bed up here. Then you have another bed down here or a desk. So one, two, and theoretically three up here could sleep or a desk. I like this. The sliding door, that's kind of nice. Okay, StarCraft, interesting. Plastic throne, but I kind of like, like the shower business there. That's pretty nice. And I like the, you know, the simple, pretty simple designs here. And no slide in the front, keeps it a little bit lighter on the truck. Oh, actually a decent mattress it looks like. That's not half bad. A little bit of storage. You get less storage in this than a lot of the fifth wheels, but yeah, okay. For a very simple fifth wheel, you know, that's, that's not too bad, interesting. Okay, so the really nice paint job, the gray, black, silver, this Riverstone is open. And I just wanna see how much storage, are these unlocked? Oh yeah, I like the way they lined everything in here. Okay, and then it looks like the way that they did your plumbing is actually pretty good. You can shut down individual lines of plumbing. Okay, two, two tanks. That's pretty nice. Slam latch, that's pretty good. You got an outdoor TV. It's like Mickey ears. Well, not the biggest TV in the world, I'm sure. I'm not a big fan of it. Do you guys ever use your outdoor TV? I'm curious. I'd rather put a screen outside, and, you know, magnets or something like that, and then do a projector, but that's just me. What does she look like on the inside? Oh. Okay, so you got a wine rack here. Uh, really big oven. I'd like to see more residential. I've been so impressed with our residential fridge freezer. I'd like to see more of those, but yeah, nice kitchen. You have a little dinette here, so it doesn't seem like this is a big family unit. Tire pressure monitoring. This is a huge living room. More for entertaining. You got a pop-up TV with a big old fireplace here. I like the front window. That's really nice. 
Really nice. Not bad. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, a washer dryer in here, stackable. You got a sink and you got a toilet porcelain throne. It looks like it does have, okay, it does have solar. You got that fancy control system, a nice big bedroom, really big bedroom. Hopefully you guys can see it's a little darker in here. Some wardrobe space there. Oh, okay. Interesting. So you got hanger, hanger up there. Oh, and then the same, the same here. And I like that it's actually, it's ventilated. It looks like it's ventilated. So that's kind of nice. And a little sitting spot and porcelain throne, two sinks. I like the sink. And then a really nice shower and surround. Okay, not bad. I like the way they, they did all this. That's actually pretty... Oh, that feels more solid, guys. That's It's hard to explain. <laughs> explain. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Okay. Let's... Uh, I saw the price on the outside somewhere. So, 205-721 is the MSRP. 139,999. So what they're selling, 39 RBFL. I really like the paint on this guy. This, for a fifth wheel, is actually really a lot nicer. But I was talking to Deanna here, and she actually unlocked this guy, and I think you might be very impressed with this. So again, really nice paint. And what I found out is that the clear coat here, uh, it's it's a two two time clear coat right but what they do is they go front to back to front is one pass so you really get two so that's why they call it x4 uh but yeah check this guy out so this is the 391 psk all right all right guys take a look at this this is amazing so over here we have a nice seating area right you got your sink here you got a freaking dishwasher in here you got an oven range right in the middle. I really like that. Sorry for the LED lights. It's giving kind of a weird flicker. And the way that they hide this fan, which is exactly where you want the fan to be. Look how nice that looks, right? Your eye really comes down here, which is really nice. And especially because of the, the darker ceiling they're doing here. Huge fridge, just like ours. We come over here. You've got your, your microwave oven, convection oven deal really nice drawers they are stapled here you'll see those staples but they're actually pretty nicely finished in soft clothes you have a lot of uh i mean seriously you've got a lot of space in here i love the island but if you're looking for a really really nice kitchen uh which i know a lot of folks are this is the deal and look at this freaking sink look at this that's a pretty good sink it's it's a uh, got two sizes here you have a really nice view from the windows here. And this is definitely where I'd be working. I'm not going to lie. I would uh, I'd definitely be sitting here working, watching TV. Got a fireplace down there. Good view out the out of the windows. Lots of windows in here. You have some controls in here. I'm sure there's a place to hang your jackets. Yep. Right there. You got an excellent position for your huge TV and fireplace here. And even over here, we're taking a look. You still have a view of the TV from here, right? You definitely have a view of the TV from here. These are decently comfortable. They're not, uh, ooh, nice padding. Like it's not, not the cheapest crap you can, you can imagine. There is a desk here, but still, I don't know that I'd work here because I love the, the view from above. Uh, but I like that they give you an area that you could, you could pop your, your cables in. That's kind of nice to know where you can store all your office supplies up here. Ducted air conditioner, it looks like. And if we come through here, oh, very, oh, very, very nice bathroom. I gotta say, love the counters in here. Porcelain throne. Uh, I don't think anybody's gonna have any issues with headroom in that shower. And then back here, you have your own door. I kind of like that. That's kind of nice. This is a washer dryer. You got a big old TV in here, big bed. Wow. And you have a big old fan up there and a lot of wardrobe space, guys. This is definitely a rig that like, I would travel maybe twice a year, move it twice a year, but no, this is a, this is a nice rig and also heavy. So 
I don't know that this would be, uh, this, you're not boondocking the way that we do, but this is pretty nice. And on this one, I just wanted to mention, you've got uh, 360 cameras all the way around. You got a front door camera, which is exactly what I think I want to try out on our uh, Holiday Rambler. Uh, but the visibility, especially while going down the road, this is a nice unit. This is a really nice unit. I think this is a 2024 and the other one's a 2022, which there are some really good deals to be made on some 22s because the dealers have to sell them. You got to get rid of them. So I was talking to Deanna here and it looks like they do have some motorhomes here as well. And they even have a new Mar or two. So we're going to take a look at that. But look at this Murata. Nice little Murata. That's not too long of a class A for anybody looking. Here's a Conquest. It's a long, long overhang there. Oh, quite a lot of... Oh. They're opened up. Thank you. If you're looking at the Foresters. Got a lot of options here. Winnebago. Fuse. Oh, man. Now, I know a lot of you guys have said, why didn't you get a diesel pusher? I'll give you this. Diesel pushers are pretty dang nice. <laughs> Let's take a look at this Numar Ventana 4326. Looks like this guy's all locked up, unfortunately. I'm gonna leave you on the head mount just because I think it gives you a more authentic view. Uh, yeah, all locked up. But I kind of like the way these doors would open up. Um, they look a little bit beefier than ours. Uh, very flush, very nice. Uh, probably a good thing to have right here. Look, you got a tag axle with uh, dualies on this. And I don't know if these are those fancy, uh, they have a turning wheel in the rear to give you a better turn radius, but they have an emergency egress door back here that's nice and then you have a huge awning that comes out you might have multiple if i'm not mistaken it's a beautiful rig i like the red emma doesn't like it so much she prefers a cooler tone i think it looks really really nice obviously a backup cam it's got a big old diesel 400 xcr on the freightliner custom chassis with ultra steer so i think that is where that rear there's a kind of a second uh, passive steer there all right, frameless windows all around. You'd expect that. Really, this thing is a freaking, this is a bus. And I don't know, I'm gonna look for that yellow sticker. Again, looks really clean. You have a generator up front and then the engine in the back, so a lot quieter. Your ride's better, of course, you have air ride, all that good stuff. Your cargo carrying capacity is insane. 7,539 pounds. Oh, I like this. The doorbell in here that's really nice there's a little cover that will cover these steps which is cool oh okay let's start at the front here so i would not mind seeing a bigger set of screens here um it looks like the battery is pretty low on this thing but look at this freaking look at this huge window this is really nice one thing that i really wish that our holiday rambler had is this level of visibility right and by the way this our holiday rambler seats are really comfortable so are these this is really comfortable look good lumbar support I have a, i've been talking about that recently anyways the visibility i mean there's a, huge windows sure uh but the visibility straight out that's a big deal and being able to see around right because sometimes you need to look back uh, whereas our window starts at like that point something like that this is a that's a big plus here uh that's a huge deal you do have hydraulic leveling uh two cup holders here which is kind of nice um i like the freight everybody likes the freightliner chassis right mm. air brakes big old air horn <laughs> yeah this is a nice rig the cabinetry in here is super super nice i don't know if that's birch or what that is i'm not a not a big uh craftsman but boy this is really really nice if you look at this I mean, you got the flush floors, which is cool. They're, they do have a little bit of carpet there, but I don't, I mean, our Holiday Rambler has carpet as well, so not a big deal. It, you actually don't notice it uh, as much as you might think. I like the way they did the dinette here. That's kind of nice. The couch doesn't look that comfortable. Yeah, it is, uh, it is more comfortable than it looks. Uh, okay, I like, I like the valances here. Those are actually pretty nice, and they're on wood. Uh, very tasteful. And the little lights over here, I wish the, the power was on here. That, that looks, that gives you a pretty good view straight out. I mean, your visibility here is pretty good. And you'd usually be sitting here watching the TV, right? But you do have a window behind that, which I kind of like. It looks like two pull-out couches. Big ol' drawer here. 
that's pretty good. Looks like an induction cooktop. All set there. Got a big ol' yep, Whirlpool convection oven microwave deal. Little pantry space there. Okay, a dual basin sink. Not bad. I like the I like the springiness on the sprayer here. That's kind of cool. And okay, yeah, these are pretty nicely just like that uh that Forest River fifth wheel. Really nicely done. So you do have the ventilation in here. Obviously, that's very important. That's really nice. They covered that nicely. Your air conditioner, they covered that nicely. Like it just looks a lot better. Yeah, I mean, it's these finished details. They use the crown molding all around. This fridge, just like ours, huge, huge fridge. Don't forget to latch those, by the way. Looks like you have a little closet in here with some drawers. That's nice. You got a half bath. And they do kind of a, they do kind of a funky door because you have a hinge, sort of a weird spot. Uh, the door feels pretty good. It does not feel cheap. Uh, but the reason they do this, I believe, is so that when your slides are in, you can still access this, this bathroom, which is kind of cool. And then over here, you have this massive pantry. Uh, and again, this just feels really open. You have a lot of earth tones, right? a, lot of, a lot of tans and browns, but it's very light still, if that makes sense. Got a second area, and I don't know exactly what you're putting in here, but you have the shelves a little bit farther back. It's kind of nice. That's kind of nice that you can also do some hanging up here. So pretty versatile. Maybe, uh, maybe for clothes more than anything. But look at this, guys. This is a freaking... That's a nice bunk. They have TVs in the bunk, which is cool. You can use it as hanging storage, of course. And this does flip up, which is really nice. But this is... Uh, yeah. This is definitely... If Emma and I were looking at a diesel pusher, this would be the layout we'd be looking at. Really cool. I like the way that these these go that's pretty cool might be something you want to modify a little bit just because if you like to leave these open during the day you don't want it kind of blocking your way but uh we leave ours open you know basically anytime we're parked in the bedroom huge bed i think this is a tilted bed if i'm not mistaken of course you have a second ac in here lots of covered space look at we don't use our over over bed covered space for anything that we access frequently but interestingly they've got a mirror back there really las vegas style, especially with this this business right in here you know, i don't hate it i don't hate it every every now and then i look at a newmar and i'm like i don't like that a lot this one it's not it's really not offensive i don't know what it is it's more storage in there big tv you got more storage back here and soft clothes that's kind of nice more wardrobe storage back here. I think that would be Emma, 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 and I get that one. <laughs> Something like that. So this uh, this mirror looks a little tinted. That's that's kind of unique. And a little art. I like that. Now here, got a big old door in case of an emergency. There you go. Or you can hand food and stuff up or whatever you have to do. Another really nice fan in here. And washer dryer. Yep, washer dryer stacked the sink is an interesting shape but i i don't hate it the shower is a corner shower but most importantly it has a shower miser and you guys know i love the shower miser lots of headroom in here uh, oh you know what it's not that it's actually not as bad as i thought it was going to be like you can you can move around in here put this guy down it doesn't look like it would be that much space hmm, but it is i mean wow but you have two shower heads and then down here you have access to your your motor from above now we got here these shelves oh oh you got a safe back here and then more hanging storage okay that's the hanging storage I was hoping for there. That'd be mine. Emma can have everything else. <laughs> $123,695 off. That's a pretty good deal, I gotta say. You know, for especially for the Washington area, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, that's not a bad, not a bad deal. But they have some more rigs out here. And I gotta say, I think that this is the paint scheme that Emma would want with that kind of uh, sort of a bluish green. One thing I really like is that they match the paint job 
into the slide. So here's another Ventana. It's on the K2. It's got a K2 380 engine on the Spartan chassis. Wow, that's that's really pretty. Again, I went with those earth tones, which I don't mind, especially if you're going down to the desert, right? Like I think it would help blend in. These doors. Whoa. Oh, I wish I could like wish I could show how that feels. That, that just sounds nice. I mean, I like our rig. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice rig. That just sounds really nice. And that, that's pretty dang. That would be pretty useful. It, a lot of folks want to bring their e-bikes inside. This is probably the way to do it. If you want to, uh, if you want to bring those e-bikes in, you want to have them on a tray because you don't want to be leaning forward with all that weight, stressing your back out. What we got in here? Yeah, more storage. I mean, talk about talk about pass through. This one does not pass through, but I like that they give you the outlets inside. There's like no fuss with these doors. Believe it or not, uh, that's kind of a big deal because some of these doors, even ours, every now and then, you have to make sure they're latched. Ventana 3809. She's up. I love the sparkle in this. Ooh, all throughout all the colors. You can tell that the paint job's just a little, just a little nicer. Lots of light from this. Okay, and look at that, guys. Wow. Well, gotta start at the front here. Yeah, America. She's got an Allison transmission. Uh, looks like a digital dash up here. Air brakes. It's a big old diesel, like you'd expect. It does have the collision uh, mitigation system. Kind of interesting. The cabinetry here. Hmm. It's just, I wish you guys could feel it because it's not that like compressed particle board. It's not that paper crap, you know? Yeah, this is, this is something. Now here's something interesting, right? This isn't as much covered. Oh, I see, I see. So that bed comes down. That's nice. That's just like our uh, holiday rainbow, how we have that configured. We have a bed that drops down too. And this is a little nicer. Look at that. A TV that pops up there. You have a fireplace there. And what's in here? Why is this so deep? That's. Gosh, I wish you could. She could feel this. Like this is just. It just. It's a little. A little thicker. A little nicer. AC's on in here too. Feels good. Okay. So this is probably how we'd want ours configured. They're stiff. And I think that just means that they'll wear in nicely. This arm deal has kind of a curve to it. But it feels good. Like it's. You wouldn't think it'd be that comfortable. They don't look that cozy, but they're pretty. They're pretty nice. I like that it gives you that window there. Ooh. Okay. Multiple levels of storage. That's a lot of. That's a lot of storage in this rig. Okay. All right. Now it feels very bright in here. Very very bright. This one has a dishwasher in it. Open up. Okay, I don't know how the dishwasher works, but oh, that's a deep, that's a lot of storage in here. Okay, and then of course an induction cooktop looks like, or an electric cooktop of some sort. Okay, Whirlpool. All right, nice cab, like really nice cabinets. Look at the, okay. Just look at, like that. Okay, so they are using, they're using some staples here. Uh, but the, the piece of wood that they're using here, really nicely finished. Like this is not a rig that's just gonna deteriorate on you. I wish we could demand this of all manufacturers. A little humidity and all of a sudden your wallpaper's peeling off and you know, your, your cabinets are falling apart or you get a small little leak out of the corner of your fridge, which it happens, right? That's, <laughs> it happens. Uh, and all of a sudden like your, your walls are falling, but that's, that's, that's crap. Um, this guy has a big old residential fridge. Yeah, not bad. I like I like this. It looks like this pulls out as well for more seating. The valances, they have a mirror finish on them, which honestly, I would, I like this. This is a nice soft, soft touch there. Um, I like it a lot. And into this bathroom here. Okay, ooh, that bowl is really pretty. Really like that sink bowl. And then the toilet's not too bad. Really good fans. You're not seeing those cheapo fans in here. Of course, you have the multi-touch system. You heated floors, that's a nice feature. Okay, a little storage in there. More 
more drawers. There's a lot of room in this thing. Oh, that looks familiar. Okay, now they, they put two cushions. It looks like they, they kind of want to encourage you to sit up in bed. I like that. And then into this bathroom. And yeah, that, that other door right here. Let's see. Oh yeah, stackable washer dryer. I like that. Look at this. What is this? Oh, that's very interesting. That is super, super interesting. Okay, and then a shower miser, and I think I like this shower a little better. Oh yeah, I think I do. No head, uh, headroom issues here. Like that's just, it's just solid and, oh yeah. Yeah, you can, this is like a spa. This is, this is nice. This is really nice. Oh man, yeah, this is a nice rig. I don't know what this one's going for. There's no price tag on it, but, uh, Ooh, this one's pretty nice. And I like the lighter, the more blonde wood. You know, it's kind of mid, midway between dark and, you know, a nice actually blonde wood. But this one's, it's really not bad. You know, in something like this, I don't mind seeing more of the wood tones. It's just when they use the fake wrapper on the wood. It just becomes sort of like tan, 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 tan. It's all fake. Uh, it's vinyls and it's like wrappers on wood. It's not real wood, right? Uh, I'm looking at you, Thor, overusing tan. This 3809, especially I assume because of the, it's a little bit shorter and it only has a single rear axle here. 4,500 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Doesn't that look really nice? Just the way it's, it's simple, but it's clean, you know? So if you're looking for a gas chassis, this is a 2023 3408 Baystar. And I mean, obviously diesel, especially in this, this realm, like diesel is pretty nice. This paint job, not, not my favorite comparatively. There's a lot of white on here. I like the blue though, blue and the silver. Those two look pretty nice together. Looking at their doors, like they don't skimp on the doors compared to, uh, you know, their, their diesel counterparts here, but they do have a little bit of pass through, kind of similar to ours. They're putting a lot of wires in here, but the door, listen to that. You know, it's, Still sounds pretty good. They're a little bit lighter. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you could put a fishing pole in there or something, but mostly access. A little bit lighter weight than the diesel counterpart, but that's what you'd expect. The rear looks a little basic. You know, again, if we look at the, the diesel, that just looks, mmm. This looks okay though, it's not too bad. Still frameless windows. Nice Alcoa rims, just like ours. I love Bailey. In terms of a gas motor home, I feel like we we hit a, a home run. But let's check this out. So similar handle to what we have. The door entrance is a little more narrow than ours. One, two, three, four, five, six steps up. Ooh. So we've never actually seen this with the darker wood. We only saw the tan. And this, the kind of bumpy material here, looks a lot better dark than it does light. The cabinetry, that just feels nice. You know, this is very interesting. They also have the drop-down bunk, right? I have a lot of, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, they have a drop-down bunk here. You have a little more room up here, it seems, than we do. You know, but this is pretty familiar. You know, you got your Ford, your Ford chassis. This all feels very, very familiar, but if we're looking right here, I, I do notice this comes up a little bit farther than the diesel does, right? But still a little better than ours, I think. It's a, just a hair. This is such an interesting cockpit area. You know, there's no desk that flips over, but you can definitely put your feet out. You know, I like to sit up here to work. You know, maybe that doesn't matter to you. The seat, still comfortable. I like our Holiday Ramblers a lot. I think this has a little bit more lumbar support. You got your, your radio here. Yep, no air, no air horn. That's a shame. Yeah, but I don't know. See, I don't know what all this is about. This is this is interesting. They do give you a little face there, a little happy guy. The floors are beautiful. That looks like they ducked the furnace through the bays, so that's that's good. But you could potentially clog that up with dog fur and whatnot. Uh, they give you a little lighting right in there. That's kind of interesting. I like the valances. I could go without the tan on top, but I like this for the most part. 
the lines across kind of distracting, but not, again, not terrible. It's kind of dark in here, I notice. Uh, there's a rig right next to us, but it still feels kind of dark. Not too bad. A lot of storage in these. Yep. Just like ours. That's nice. Uh, drop down bed. So you got a bed here, a bed here, and then this definitely turns into a bed as well. The sink. Not bad. I feel like these counters are a little bit lower than our counters at home with our Bailey. Yeah, this isn't too bad though. I like the range. No oven, but you got a microwave oven, so that's kind of how ours is configured and no regrets. We have a bigger fridge, a little bigger fridge. This is not, I mean, you could get away with easily full timing in this still. Drawers, still nicely, nicely done. Soft clothes. Okay, let's look at this. Bathroom, again with the weird, so this is a full bath here. This is a single bathroom bath. I like the sinks they choose. This is very interesting. It is a plastic surround. You could be seven feet and still be okay in here. They did use a really nice fan in here still. I do think that this door, you know, a very narrow doorway here. I do think that the, this would take some getting used to, for sure. Uh, hmm. Yeah, very interesting. Ducted heat register down below on the floor. Okay, slide for the bed. It's not a lift up bed, so it still works. I bet you it slips underneath that though. And they did give you a really big closet back here. What do we got in here? And, okay, so this is all your electrical gear. So you have your DC, your, some of your breakers, and then more breakers. Okay. Well, that's easy enough to access. The wood in here is so nice. Hmm. You do have washer dryer hookup as an option in here. Okay, and the dual uh, hanger. It's a good way to use the closet. I'd say a little more storage. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, they used it. That's cool. Still with the soft, the soft clothes down there. I gotta say, this one definitely didn't convince me to move away from Bailey. Uh, there's a lot of carpet up here, which I don't think is necessary. Uh, this is, yeah, these gas rigs have nothing on uh, their diesel lineup, I don't think. Beautiful cabinetry, though, I will say. I'd like to see that adhered here. Not a big deal. Uh, adjustable shelf, I like that. I like the pattern they've got going on in here. Hmm. All righty. So... We've got the Ventanas, the really nice diesel pushers for Newmar, Dutch Star over there. The Bay Stars and the Bay Star Sports, which I believe are just kind of a uh, more cost effective options. They strip a few things out of there, but a lot of it you might not even care about. Oh, an FR3. We've seen a few of those around here. Kind of interesting. All right. And I've got a lot of trailers around here. The trailers are very popular out here but I bet you these are in for service look at this a Vino's cruiser RV LLC hmm. got a Jayco J flight out here another one in for service I love the look of these vintage cruisers that is really neat we got a Via Winnebago Via a lot of these Foresters a lot of you guys like the Foresters it's class C Foresters looks like this is a 2861 I don't think I've ever been in this forest here oh big seats in here kind of dark over cab interesting all right yeah simple layout and it doesn't have a flip up bed which I really like. I like the big window in the back here that's a really nice feature yeah very okay smaller shower but Usually not too bad. And then a big door here for separating. Yeah, that's kind of, hey, this is a simple layout. We could probably full time other than the fact that when this one comes in, it might be kind of hard to reach some things. Hmm, if you take this out, it wouldn't be a big deal at all. You know, and I'm not a huge Forest River fan in general. Uh, one thing I gotta say is they, especially when you compare to Winnebago and the like, I like, I like the paint jobs, right? Well, I don't see, even on the used models, a lot of, uh, because you really can't feel the lines in here. Uh, I don't see a lot of chipping and such out of, you know, even in the corners and the, you know, 
it looks like they're using a thick thicker paint whatever it is uh, it still does look pretty decent uh, even after you know a few years I respect it and I like that they're using like the fender flares on the Foresters not that you need you know a full body paint I think that, that you can have you know something like this guy here no paint and uh, frankly it'll probably look pretty good you know down the road if you get a chip or something like that but yeah uh, oh Gulfstream Conquest hmm. now if you guys do swing by and end up finding a really good deal and you pick something up ask for Deanna so check out what deals I have Deanna is uh, was really cool she spent a little while with me we kind of uh, talked about the RV industry I thought she was really cool ask for Deanna and tell her uh, Joel sent you from cozy living machine if you're if you're in the area and you swing by thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video bye